Hey there, David Bird from Theater Mania here with the great Jeremy Jordan. Uh, Hello. We're talking about your 54 Below streaming concert, Carry On. It premieres on the 6th, and then it's on demand through uh, the 27th. Uh, and I'm excited to talk about it. Tell me about, well, tell me what, what the show is. Well, it's actually Carry On. What did I um, say? I'm just, you said Carry On. Oh. Um, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, it's actually both. You know, it's it's got a, so many meanings. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's a uh, it's carrion like a like the bird variety. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, yeah, it's a show that I that I actually did live right before the pandemic hit. I had a two week run in the city at Fifty Four Below, um, right before everything shut down. So I was very lucky in that regard. And um, they started this streaming series where they wanted to, you know, put some shows online and uh, tape them professionally and like really make it a cool, intimate experience, but bring it to your home uh, or wherever you are in the world. Yeah. And uh, and so we wanted to do the same show. And uh, I had to, of course, change it up a little bit, you know, because there was no audience and nobody to laugh at all of my dad jokes, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, and and I was speaking directly in the camera, you know, and, and, uh, and so I had, to, I had to shift things around a bit. I changed a couple numbers, so I uh, tried to keep it fresh and all that stuff. But uh, it's basically, um, it's a little bit of a hybrid of a cabaret show and a one-man play. Uh -huh. um, and it's all about me uh, becoming a father and uh, sort of learning how to love a tiny human being. That is my daughter, who is now two. Um, I remember so it's kind of it's kind of a love letter to her, yeah. I remember when your wife was pregnant. I mean, that sounds a lot yeah, creepier. Me too. That sounds a lot creepier now. <laughs> I'm one of the red carpet photographers, so I see the evolution of of that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we kept it we kept it pretty quiet. Nobody really knew. Nobody <laughs> knew. And then suddenly we had a baby, and people were like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say more power to you for being able to keep it relatively quiet. In the public, yeah, uh, we've we've always kept our um, as, at least w when it came to regards to our kids specifically, we've always kind yeah. of kept all that stuff out of the public eye and just you know kept it for family and friends and ourselves and you know when, and when everybody's be. yeah when everybody's there to potentially scrutinize or whatever it's it's nice to have something that's that's just yours that's private you know and so. We've we've kept it that way. If if you watch the show though, there are a little, you get might get a few little sneak peeks, some pictures or maybe some video of Clara, which are very rare occurrences in the world. So you can get a little morsel. Does she have opinions now? Like, is she at the age where I I mean I don't know the evolution of like I don't know where children are at two years old. <laughs> does she like? Does she talk? Does she do all? Like, is she a little human yet? <laughs> yeah, she's like a little bit of a little human. I mean, she knows what she wants and what she doesn't want. Um, she can usually be pretty easily swayed if you sort of wave your hands and point her at something shiny. Um, <laughs> but I don't think that's going to last much longer. Uh, but she's, you know, running around, jumping, and pretty much every day there's new words and um, new concepts. She's just starting to grasp sort of concepts of things. We're still trying to get her to grasp the concept of going potty, but um, <laughs> that's the new, that's the, that's the most recent challenge that we're sort of tackling. What was it like to, uh, to film this show at 54 below? Yeah, I mean, you're used to sold out crowds at 54 below. What's it like to go in and then it's like Ben, a camera person, the sound people, and then like three others <laughs> sitting there. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's very strange. I mean, luckily I've had a lot of film experience where, you know, you're kind of performing into a vacuum, yeah. but this is very different because it's not written for the film, you know, and I, and I tried to rewrite it as best I could, but, you know, all of my antics and, you know, all of the things that generally, you know, elicit a laugh or a applause or tears or whatever, it, you're just kind of trusting that, if I just do the same thing or try to do as much as I could similar to what I did on stage that worked, that, um, that hopefully the, the, a similar effect will come to play. And then you also have the camera, which, which plays a really crucial role in storytelling as well. You know, they can sort of get more up close and personal, a little more intimate and give you a little bit more variety in the storytelling. So it sort of makes up for it in that regard.
Yeah. But uh, it was very bizarre. And we only had like five hours to film this almost hour and a half long show. Um, and we had so multiple so setups. Right. I was going to say you were able to do it once and then, uh, and then I mean, well, you know, I, I had, I had done it over a year before this. Right. Yeah. So like as much as I practice it at home in the mirror, like <laughs> going up on stage for one performance without really a major real rehearsal, like I was going to mess up. So, I mean, I, I messed up a bit and some of the, some of it was well, not perfect, you know, but uh, we, we did get to like try to retake certain things and, you know, and try to, but like the big musical numbers, mm -hmm. anything that's a musical number was all done in, in one take. So that's generally where what I'm, when I'm watching it, I'm like, Oh, you messed that up. But well, you know, you that's live theater for you. And everybody's always like that when they watch themselves too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. What uh, uh, mm. what can we expect to hear? What songs, if you're able to give and willing to give us a preview? Uh, sure. I mean, well, most of the songs from my old show are, are in. Um, uh, I wrote a new song for the opening, um, mm. which is there's a snippet available on on YouTube. We we like released a little snippet either yesterday or the day before. Um, so that's out there. And then I also wrote the closing song. And then in between is a, just a mixture of pretty much every other style you could imagine. There's a couple of musical theater songs. There are um, some pop songs. There are some rock and roll songs. There's a country song. Um, you know, there's a couple classics. Like it's, it's just kind of runs the gamut. Yeah. Um, and each song is, you know, really, really curated specifically for what I'm trying to say and the story I'm trying to tell in that moment. So you were getting ready for little shop before all of this started, weren't you? Like I you was, start, had you started yet? I was days away from my first performance. Actually it was in my final, um, my final, uh, run through before the put in when, when we got shut down, we got through act one and then Michael Mayer said, everybody go home. I don't know when I'll see you again. <laughs> and we haven't seen him since. That must have felt like the biggest tease. Yeah, it was March 14th, 2020. But, um, or I think 14th, maybe it was 17th. It was in the <laughs> teens. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was looking forward to it. You know, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was a big undertaking. I'm sure. And, uh, it was going to be one of those things where I was like, I don't know if I'm ready, but I got to go do this. <laughs> Why? Um, or was it ju just because there are so many moving parts in that show? Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of those shows that's just like, there's, there's the puppets, there's the, there's like so many very specific choreographed parts. It, you know, when you get put into a show, you inevitably kind of get shoved around for the first week, even after you've done all of your rehearsals, just because everybody's got their rhythm and you have to find your groove. But I mean, we're, we, We've definitely been told that it's coming back. Oh, that's um, good. With everything else, so we'll see. You know how that plays out. Yeah, and it's a small enough theater. Yeah, yeah. I know it's lovely. I mean, it's a really, really great little spot. Were you? Uh, I hate to say the like. Were you depressed to not be able to do it because there were so many other things that were going on in the world that were far more important than like theater. But like, <laughs> was there like a like a grief period that you felt, or did you not like get into it? Like, had you not been involved with it for so long that you didn't really feel that? Yeah, I don't. I think I skipped to that stage because I had just jumped on, so it wasn't right. really real to me yet. You know, like yeah. it wasn't. I was starting to get excited about it. Like I was excited about it in rehearsal, but like most of my rehearsal process, I was doing this show carry on at night. Right. So I was exhausted. And so I was just like trying to muddle my way through and then suddenly everything is closed. And I'm like, yeah. oh, well, I'll take a break for a couple of weeks. That sounds great. I'll take I'll take a month off. Like we'll let this thing play out and I'll jump back in and I'll be nice and rested. It'll be perfect. Were you were you a little shop? Like were you a little shop like fan nerd? Because I know that show has such a like deep attachment for so many people. Sure, I mean anybody who loves musical theater is probably going to tell you that they love Little Shop. Like it's yeah. it's a universally loved show. It's just, it's hard not to like it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can't wait to I can't wait to see that show again. 
and yeah. hope you in it. Uh, I'm yeah. excited. To, I'm excited to watch the streaming concert. Uh, what does it mean to you as a performer that this show, this heartfelt piece about your life and fatherhood and your daughter and all of that involved, like is filmed and like technically, I mean, even though there's a date limit on it, like lives in posterity that one day when she's old enough, she will theoretically be able to watch it. Yeah. I mean, after I did it at 54 below, I mean, we, we kind of filmed it for archival purposes for ourselves. And in case we ever wanted to release a number anywhere, which we did, we released uh, this greatest showman number that I did in the original concert that is actually not in this version. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, yeah, it wasn't really the original purpose. It was more just me kind of trying to therapize myself <laughs> and trying to trying to like figure out my thoughts on fatherhood and how I felt about how I was approaching, um, you know, unlocking these parts within me that had been, uh, you know, hitherto blocked and some are still and becoming unlocked and uh, and trying to work my way through that and try to connect with people who might be going through the same thing as they, you know, learn and grow. And, and when you have a kid, it, it, this is, your life changes in an inexplicable way that you can't prepare for. And all you can do is try to reconcile your own crap <laughs> and uh, not push it onto your kids if you can help it, you know? And that's kind of what the show is about, me trying to reconcile some of the issues that I dealt with growing up as a kid so that I didn't have to carry that into my relationship with my daughter. Carry on. Yeah. It's an apt title. Yeah. There's also a carry on suitcase involved. It's uh, it's a, it's on the nose as well, but it is it has <laughs> many meanings. Uh, Jeremy Jordan, I appreciate your time. Uh, Thanks. Thank you, David. It starts streaming May 6th, available through the 27th. It's on the 54 Bullet website. Yep. Jeremy Jordan, carry on, carry on, carry <laughs> on. However, there it is. Or to pronounce it, I'm excited to watch it. Be well. Awesome. Thank you so much. And Have a great day. Watching. Take care. You too.